Global photographer Genevieve Hathaway. I mean, you really do go around the globe, but particularly, let's talk about Morocco and, oh, Cuba. Sounds great, Stan. You just recently were in both of those countries yes. taking pictures. Yeah. What took you there? Um, work projects and um, the desire to help share those stories and work with companies that are doing great work in those parts of the world. Okay, let's talk about Cuba, because that's been in the news lately. It has. <laughs> it's been an exciting place. And uh, when, when you were there, there was a sad thing that happened. Yes. Fidel Castro passed away partway through my trip, and I got to see the entire morning and the freedom caravan that took his ashes from one part of the country to the other, and um, just see a piece of history, a piece of Cuban history. I kind of tell you, what was that like? I mean, there's, there have been people, I mean, it's 90 miles from Florida, and we've not been able to go there. How did you get there? I flew. I <laughs> flew in. They've recently been making it easier for Americans to go, um, but it's still there are a lot of regulations and requirements that you have to follow. And mm -hmm. um, I just happened to be there when one of the most famous men from the country passed away, and it was fascinating to see the Cuban response mm -hmm. without the filter of the media, without the filter of seeing it third hand, but just to talk to people and everybody had a story either from the revolution because they lived it or from their parents and everybody had a story of either secretly working with the American government to repair cars when there were floods or to um, starting entrepreneurial businesses we think of it as a socialist country but there's a lot of entrepreneurs some going on there. People were very open, and that they were was they were willing to talk with you about that things Absolutely. they disagreed with. You know, off the record when mm. you're driving with your taxi driver or talking with your casa folks, um, the places that you stay. But people mm. were willing to say, "We love this that they did. They brought us health care and education." There's seventy thousand doctors in Cuba, fifty thousand in Africa, way more. The people wow. are highly educated. But then there are other things that don't work quite as well. And, I'll tell you that. So it was fascinating, and Fidel passing away really brought a lot of those stories out of the woodworks and people wanting to share their memories and their times. You don't look Cuban? No, I don't look Cuban. <laughs> how, were, uh, how were you accepted by the Cuban people? People are so welcoming there. They're so warm. Um, even Fidel Castro early on said, our problem is with the government, not with the people. And that really, that mindset I found throughout Cuba. People were so happy that Americans were there, that foreigners were there, so we could see and understand their culture. And people were so welcoming. They just welcomed us with open arms. So let's go to Morocco, another yeah. part of the world. Another part of the world. Um, what were you doing there? I was working on some photography projects and doing some client work as well as leading a women's tour. I um, take women on a couple trips a year to the Middle East, North Africa, places that women are usually nervous to go. Mm -hmm. And I like to help show them a completely different side by introducing them to local women that I've met through working throughout the region and helping kind of connect women across cultures. Were you nervous in Morocco? Never. Moroccans are amazing. They're some of the best people on the planet. They're so welcoming, and um, it's such a beautiful country. I cannot recommend it more. Now, these pictures of yours, I mean, I've seen other pictures of yours, and they're amazing. They're gorgeous. Can the public see these pictures? Absolutely. On my website, GenevieveHathaway.com. What's your next big trip? My next big trip, well, it's going to be either Iran or back to Egypt. Depends on kind of which projects and which client work takes me where. No, you're not going to tell us that you're not going to be nervous in Iran. <laughs> not at all. I have lots of Iranian friends. I'm also a climber, and there's a really great rock climbing and mountaineering community in Iran. Um, it's a place I've been wanting to go for years and been trying to kind of line it up. And the people there, I've heard, are some of the most welcoming on the planet. So I cannot wait to kind of test that out and meet people and try to show a different side to that country and um, those amazing folks that are there. We'll look forward to seeing those pictures next. Absolutely. Thanks so much, Stan. Thank you, Jenna. It's a pleasure. Mm -hmm.